In the next few weeks, the transport minister will issue a report on the findings of a recent inspection done by the International Civil Aviation Organization on civil aviation authorities' systems that saw several airlines suspended, some for good. Ranked at 61% of what it must be, CAA is still grappling with some key challenges in these systems. Human resource uh, is still not adequate to the number on inspections, not other areas, inspections of air transport, particularly in areas of, of safety standards. Only two areas, airworthiness of, of an aircraft and the other one is flight operations inspection on pirates themselves. This was on the sidelines of a conference on modern airports where several global players discussed Africa as the fastest area of airline sector growth in the world. Africa is home to 12% of world's population, but it accounts for less than 1% of the global air service market. So despite the financial crisis, the ash cloud over Europe, the Arab Spring in North Africa, Ebola, or the security threats, the long-term forecast is that growth may only be delayed but not stopped. Meanwhile, plans are underway to invest $200 million in phase one of the expansion of Entebbe Airport starting 2015 with funds borrowed from the Chinese Exim Bank. For our next 20 years, we would have needed for expansion of Entebbe with an investment of $325 million. And we find the first phase that will even cope with all the traffic requirements uh, in the next 15 years uh, to have 200 million borrowed. So the team is coming in of Exim Bank. They go through arrangements with the Minister of Finance. Once it is concluded, then they submit it to cabinet through parliament. Building of a new terminal is expected after 2017 with projected passenger growth in millions by 2030. Samosetumba, NTV, Business.